Hi, 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 hi. Hi. So, sorry for like, I wanted to live stream earlier. Make sure my music isn't too loud. But I wanted to live stream earlier, but a tornado touched down. So, that kind of <clears throat> ruined plans for that. But it's fine because we're safe and I'm just getting everything together. But today, I'm going to share with you guys. Let me move TikTok over a little bit so they can see the screen. Let me, should I lower this light or should I bring it up higher? I'm going to lower this light. I don't know how the lighting is looking. Y'all probably don't care. <laughs> Let me just, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. What if I do this? Whoa. I want to get started on the webtoon portion in a moment. Hold on. <laughs> I just need to get everything situated. Okay, perfect. We got that zoomed in. Move this over here. So, there's lots of different ways to make a webtoon. And I, I'm just going to, like, break down my process. Super easy, super simple. And then after that, we're going to just jump right into drawing. Hi, Petrie. Welcome to, welcome back to the live. <laughs> I have my mic somewhere else, so if it sounds a little scuffed, let me know. But, um, so, one of the common questions that I get asked a lot, a lot of people are like, what's the canvas size? Because a lot of people will see for Webtoon Canvas uploading requirement, they will see that it says 800 by 1280, and they will get that confused and believe that they have to only draw in 800 by 1280 and no it just means your file size it needs to be no smaller than 800 by 1280 you can draw in a bigger file size because their platform will now re reformat it for you to pass this platform also does that as well so the drawing canvas size that we that i do is going to be a lot bigger than the uploading we minimum requirement size if i if that makes sense <laughs> so and if you're like what i'm confused you know what then toss that out the window let's just focus on just opening up a canvas then if you're confused just follow these steps and you can get your webtoon still made if thinking about those numbers is throwing you off no worries Go ahead and follow these steps. These are my steps that I do. You can do them whatever way you want to do. I still like working in like a book format. So my webtoon is right here. Catch Me, Fight Me, Love Me. This is episode one of my webtoon. And I have maybe, I don't know how many panels, 30? I don't know. I have this many panels, two panels per page. You see? Two panels, two to three panels per page. What I did, I went to File. I went to New. Let me just go ahead and show you. <laughs> hold on. I forgot what the size was. Hold on. Hold on. Before I mess it up like I did before in the past. Let me look at the size real quick. Give me one second. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, okay. Yeah, I had it. I had it. So I go to File, New. And I'm in Clip Studio Paint EX. You can do this across any platform that you're, any program that you're using. Um, with Clip Studio Paint EX, I like to use the multi-page feature because I can. <laughs> There's no requirement for you to use that either. But any hodos, you can go to their Webtoon, Clip Studio Paints Webtoon template, and you could just start drawing from there. Because Webtoons are just individually stacked files that have numerous amounts of panels per file. So, it's not one long vertical strip that has been drawn up and uploaded. It's actually a lot of individual comic strips and they just look like one long vertical strip but again webtoon canvas platform reformats your files for you so you don't really need to worry about the canvas size but what i do what i do i do a width of 1600 pixels wide and i do 4800 pixels long you don't have to do that if you don't want to do that i like this other artists use a bigger size. Other artists use a smaller size. This is what I do. So if you're like, I want to get started right now, go ahead and do what I do. Or do what other artists do. No pressure. Just vibe with it. So any hoodles, I'll go ahead and I'll click OK. And it's going to create me like a blank file. It might create one file depending on what your settings are or depending on what program you're using. That's fine. If you need to make a new file, to add your next set of panels, you can do that. Or you could just do it all in one file and just have multiple layers. 
I don't want to overwhelm you guys though, but that's what I do. I have my canvas size 1,600 wide and I have my height 4,800 pixels long and I put about two to three panels on each individual canvas file. Why? Because I like it. <laughs> That's what I like. There's not much method to my madness, you know? Hi, Joy. Hi, Selena. Hi. Hi, guys. Sorry, I was just talking, talking away. Hi, TikTok. I'm not ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you. I got the YouTube going and I got this going. Oh, also, a lot of people have had some issues with blurriness. Um, their lines looking blurry. Now, I don't know if they're super zoomed into their stuff to where that's why it's looking blurry. And it's like, zoom out. You're at 200% zoomed in. That's why it's looking blurry. I don't know. But sometimes for me, what causes the blurriness of my lines is because my canvas width is too too tiny. My canvas is too small. The width and the height, I don't know, is too small. So that's, again, another reason why I do 1,600 pixels wide by 4,800 pixels long. I could have a longer if I wanted to. I get overwhelmed, though, if it gets too long. But that's why that it, it helps me not to have that blurriness with my pixels. But again, there's other different issues that might cause your blurry pixel situation. So, but that's one of the, that's one of the troubleshootings. I can cover another troubleshoot thing in another video, you know, if I find out, okay, well, that's not what's causing my issue. My canvas is that size. Why is it still blurry? We can cover that in another video and figure out what's going on with that. But yeah, now, after you have, you know, your blank canvas, we're going to pretend, let me move this over so that you guys aren't getting overwhelmed. Now that we have our blank canvas, what do we do next? Well... What I like to do, I like to add the text. I go over here to my text tool. There's lots of different ways to add text to your webtoon. Uh, I can show the other way that I do batch text in another video. For this live stream, I'm just going to show you just the easy peasy, boom, boom, right, right, beginner friendly version. I go to my text, the little A right here. I tap my screen and then I type test and I click okay boom my text is there now you're like hmm I need a word balloon there's multiple ways to do word balloons what I like to do and what you know is beginner friendly there's lots of other beginner friendly ways as well do what you want but what you can do you can go over here to this material area right here that little arrow or if you don't know what I'm talking about go over to windows go down to material click whatever thing pops up in that and then you can go over to here, manga material, you can go there, you can go to balloon, you can go to dialogue, and then all you have to do is select the balloon. I'm selecting it, I have it pressed down, I have it clicked, and I'm dragging it over here and hovering over that. I let it go, and boom, it fills it in. That's how I add my speech balloons to my text. So there, we got our text. Now you might be like, I need a tail balloon though. We got to add our characters first. So once you got your text added, this is what I like to use for my drawing portion. I have like three different stages of drawing. I do the rough draft, I do the inks, and then I do the colors. Sometimes I might skip all that and just go right into the inks. Sometimes I might skip all that and just like do, do like rough draft and colors. Depends on how I'm feeling. But I'm going to show you how I did this comic. So here is a rough draft of this panel. Because this was the background, so I didn't put anything there. <laughs> but I used my mechanical pencil. I had it up kind of, I had the size kind of like this. You can have the size whatever you want. But I had the size kind of like this. I had the stabilization low because it's quicker movements. Again, set it however you want. This is not like, you must. No, I'm just showing you what I did. And after that, I just drew. You see? My screen is lagging. See, I saw on my last live stream that it was lagging. But anyways, I just drew. So go ahead and draw your characters. Draw your scene. And there you go. You just drew your stuff. You used a mechanical pencil and you got your rough draft created. Now you might be like, wait, how did you do that? I can't draw on the text layer. It's not letting me draw. It's giving me a red, red little thingamabob. I forgot to tell you guys. I like to work in layers. I go to new... We could just do raster for now. Raster? Roster? We could just do raster for now. And then we'll just draw our sketch 
right there. <laughs> and there we go. And you know, like that. So you can just do that. You've already got your rough drafts now drawn. You got your text balloons. Let me delete. Yes, delete. Delete. I think I need to delete something off of my white screen. Give me one second. Hold on. Did it do it? Okay, perfect. It did it. Okay. So, I have my rough draft. We have our rough draft. I use my mechanical pencil for my rough drafting. Now I need to ink stuff in. I like to make another new layer. I like to do vector layers. Again, that might be too advanced for beginners, so don't worry about that. Right, and right now, as a beginner, you more so I think it'll be better just to focus on finishing, you know? I like to use vector layers, though, if you're like, well, what do you do, though? I use vector layers. Why? Because I can shrink it. I can expand it and shrink it and not have to worry about blurriness. Now, what I use for inking, I use this pen. I use the G pen. I keep it at the default. Why? Because I get overwhelmed easy. After that, I pick whatever small or big size I want, depending on the line width. But if you're a beginner and you're still new to line width and all that, don't worry about it. Do whatever your eyeballs is like, oh, this looks good. Do that. Follow that. Trust yourself. I know we grew up in like, I know for me, I grew up to where I was like, raised to where I wasn't allowed to trust myself. Everybody's like, are you sure you want to make that decision? See, if you did that decision, that's why that turned out that way because you chose that decision. And it's like, can I can I not trust myself? You know? So I'm learning how to trust myself. And that's why when I do, when I pick the sizing for things, for my pins, I go with whatever I think looks nice. And I think 0 0.3 looks nice on this canvas size. And you want to know what I do next? Here's my rough draft later. <laughs> later layer I go ahead I'm gonna show you my layer that I did no you know I'm just gonna show it right here I draw on top of it and I just start cleaning everything up some people skip that whole process and they just go with their rough drafts again do what you want to do there's, uh, there's no rules over here with us more she the studio do whatever makes you happy do whatever makes you happy Feel alive, you know? Have fun with your comic. So any hoodles, after that, after I have my inks, I'm going to show you what my inking looks like. Here's the full finished one, but let me just show you what my inking looks like. Hide that, hide that, hide that, hide that, hide that, and that. Perfect. This is what my ink, oops, can, you can't even see it. Hold on, let me pull it up. Let me zoom it in. This is what my ink layer looks like. Super simple. After that, I add colors. And with the colors, I use the raster layer again. So we go, we can go to File, New, and we can go to Raster Layer. Let me just, I want to, for visual effects. Here we are, here we are. So we can just go to, let me hide this. We can go to Layer, New. And then we can use our G pin, or we can use our Fill Bucket tool. Find the color we want over here. You can't see it, but we this is the color wheel over here, and I just pick a color I want. I'm on my own layer. I'm I, I like to keep my lines separate from my inks. Why? Because it's just personal preference. Here's my ink layer. I have the color layer all the way down here, and I can just fill stuff in like that. Now, I like to keep my color layer at the bottom because if I put it up top, it hides the, the lines. So I just put it at the bottom. But I can use the fill bucket tool, or if I want to draw the color in myself, I can click my G pen again. I click a bigger brush size, and I just draw it in. I can do that. And that's literally how I did this. That's how I got this. Now, you might be wondering, Shrin, what's these purple boxes here? What you got going on there? This is the panel folder. There's lots of different ways to make panels, but here's how I like to do it. I go to layer again. I go to new layer and then I click frame border folder and I don't, I don't listen to any of that. I just click. Okay. I'm going to hide this real quick. I'm going to zoom out so you can see. Now I got this thing on my bob. What I could do next, I can divide it up and make panels. I'm going to go over here to the divide frame folder. It's over here by the direct 
it's underneath, it's in this sub tool thing. Look, look, looky here. You see all these, you see these buttons? I'm going to go to frame right there. It's literally right above the A, the text. And I click the frame and I click this one, divide frame folder. And I just drag it, drag, drag. That's how I can make my panel, super easy. And then whatever layer I add, if I make a new layer, let's go ahead and make a new layer together. I can take that new layer and I can hover it above this folder. Get, oh, it's already in there. Is it in there? Oh, wow, you're already in there. Well, let's pretend it's not. Let's take it back out. Okay, that folder is, that folder, that layer is no longer in our panel folder. I'm going to now take it and I'm going to drag it and move it in there like that. And ta-da, that's what I did with this one. Okay, so you guys see the whole process of making a webtoon? <laughs> It's very, it's very, once you get your own process down, it's very simplistic in, a, in its own way. And also it's very complex because there's lots of moving parts and you can get overwhelmed mentally. So don't feel bad. Just enjoy the chaos. You know, we're here just vibing together. Now, I've been ignoring both TikTok and YouTube, but I wanted to get that out the way before we start the live stream because we're going to be drawing I'm, well, I'm going to be inking in my characters, so you guys can just watch. But I'm going to go ahead and start answering the questions from TikTok real real quick. Let's scroll down, because I talked for a little bit. Okay, we don't have too many. That's good. Ginkai, hi. I don't know if you're still there, but hello. Delish, del, delica, key art. Oh, I was just wondering this. Hey, so I'm glad I helped. Yay. <laughs> I was wondering, can you make... Webtoons and Ibis Paint. You sure can make a webtoon in Ibis Paint. There's lots of people who... I mean, you can make a webtoon in anything. But yeah, you can make a webtoon in Ibis Paint. Totally. I can do a video on YouTube. Maybe I should do a video on YouTube about my process on making a webtoon in Ibis Paint. So it's just easier to follow along. But yeah, you could definitely make one in Ibis Paint. I love the idea of breaking up almost like pages and not a huge long canvas. Yeah, do what fits your best. Hi, Mel. Hello. Hi. What are you using to draw? I'm using my display tablet. It's a 24, it's a Wacom Centwig 24 HD display tablet. That's what I'm using. What's this or laptop? <laughs> Hopefully that answers your question. Aries, are you making a comic? I, I am actually working on a super secret comic project that I can't announce just yet because I haven't received the green light on it. Or the red light. When I know whether it flies or flops, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> hi, Blay. Hello. Nini, hi. <laughs> I read your webtoon. Thank you so much. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it. May I ask how have you been? Why do you want to know, Mel? Are you up to something? I always have people who, like, want something. They usually ask me, like, how are you today? So they can see like where my headspace is at so they can then pop the question, well, I need you to do something for me. Like, it's weird. I gotta heal from that trauma. Mel, no, okay. <laughs> well, how are you doing today? That's the question that should be asked. How are you doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing good. I am hungry. <laughs> so you put your line work and colors in the folder of panels. Sorry, I still don't know the names of things. Hey, that's fine, that's okay. You can literally do whichever process you want. Some artists don't, won't have the lines. Let me just take all my layers. I'm going to move them out of this folder. Some people won't have any of their lines in that panel folder. For me, I like to put it in the folder so I don't have to go through and erase all of this that's poking out. Because when I have it in my panel folder, it hides all that for me, you see? I didn't have to erase anything. It just helps speed up on time. That's why I like using the panel folder layer. It easily creates this purple clipping mask for me. And it just covers all that for me. I like conveniency in a certain way. Well, Patrice, how do you decide how long an episode will be um, updating weekly? I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So for me, I decided to go ahead and be a little chaotic because I'm like, I can't do a weekly schedule. I'm going to burn out. I've burnt out before and I hate it. 
I hate doing weekly schedules at this point in time. Maybe future Shireen might be like, I love it. Well, <laughs> the current Shireen and the Shireen of that time hated it. I did monthly updates. I'm like, y'all going to get it in a month. Y'all wait 30 days. And I created like a whole entire buffer. And I literally, what I did, I just drew the whole entire comic and until it was like almost done. And then that's when I just started posting up stuff on a monthly basis. It's like, Shireen, it was already done. Why didn't you just post it up weekly? Because I can do what I want. <laughs> I'm sure there's a much more logical way, but I, at that, I just, I, I wanted to do monthly updates. I wanted to see, can I still grow if I just update monthly, you know? And my page, it grew up to like 22, I don't update it anymore because I don't, you know, the comic ideas, writer's luck, all that. Um, it's gone, it grew up to like 22,000. I think it's 23,000. It's still getting more subscribers. I'm getting emails like, hey, you just reached the next 22K or 25, whatever it's at. I don't know. But um, updating monthly, it, I mean, it still got me to that 22,000. So I like to prioritize my comfort because, I, you know, it's it's hard for me to stay consistent with something if it's not sustainable. Now, other people, they're able to go hard and go home, bust it out every single week because they got goals to meet. I'm like, ah, we're going to do a month. And then after that, we're going to just vibe it out. We Who are we answering to? I answer to myself, and my only goal is right now to heal <laughs> from my art trauma. But there are artists who update weekly, and there are artists like me who I did it once a month. I did it once a month. So there wasn't like a rule on how long should this episode be. I just did it once a month. My episodes, I think I had maybe 30 panels per episode because I don't really know all the time how many panels a webtoon will be because it depends on how much I need to say. But typically about 30 panels it will be my episode. Other artists... They usually do like 60 to 120 panels. I am not at that stage in my life. <laughs> so I did, yeah, I did, I did monthly and I did 30. I did what I felt like doing and she felt like doing monthly and 30, <laughs> 30 panels. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I just have to play with it. But thanks for showing. You're welcome. Yeah, you can do whichever. There's lots of different ways. You can have the panel on the outside and do the inking. You know what? You don't even have to have any. You can do the panels all by hand as well if you want it to. If that's, like, too overwhelming, just draw your panels by hand and then just draw your pictures and then just worry about the next process later, okay? Right now, we need to battle that blank page. So if you want, you could do that. Or another way, you can make another panel that's a little bit more easier um, or beginner-friendly. You can go to the rectangle frame after you made your layer. Come on, Pin. Hopefully my computer's not lagging too bad. But after you've drawn your pictures, you can go over here to the frame area, rectangle frame, and you could just... What? What have you done? There we go. <laughs> it makes its own white background, so be careful with that. I had to hide it. But it's right here. No, it's not. Where is it? It's right here. Let me drag that in here. I don't know. This is why I do the frame folder one. I don't know what just happened. But you could do that as well. <laughs> you can see how educational and why I'm not a teacher. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I just be doing find what works for me and I go from there. But hopefully that helps. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and delete that. Let's look at the comments to make sure I don't have any other questions. So feel free to let me know if you guys have any other like webtoon process questions. Because that's what today's uh, live stream's gonna be either answering all the questions I can about how to make a webtoon, and then if there's no more questions, I'm just gonna ink in my comic page and we can just draw it together. So yeah, feel free to ask as much questions as you got. Let's see. I like that idea, especially being almost finished with the comic and still continuing to update. Yeah, I prefer just to have it, that's just, it's, I, it, you know, after publishing comics since 2007, I'm like, I, you know, I'm doing that, like, Oh, got to post it every single day. I'm done with that life. I want to, I want to vibe. <laughs> I'm a 33 year old mother. <laughs> it was hard enough trying to do that with twin babies and then another little baby. I'm, I'm, she's done with that lifestyle. Oh, we got comments. Let's see. 
Shelly, are there any tips you can give to people who want to start a webtoon? Um, it depends on what's stopping you from starting a webtoon. I guess the, the tip would depend on what's what is the obstacle that's in your way from starting a webtoon? Because there's lots of different obstacles that can get in the way of starting a webtoon. Some people feel pressured to start a webtoon, and they don't want to start a webtoon. Then don't start a webtoon if you don't want to. Do whatever you want to do. For me, I'm personally healing from my people-pleasing tendencies <laughs> and the trauma I built from that. So I'm learning how to be like, I don't want to do that. And then like allow myself to be like, fine, we ain't got to do that. If people don't like it, then that's on them because I like not doing that. So it depends on what the obstacle is. Mel, just asking. <laughs> You're fine, Mel. You didn't hear my answer? I said I was hungry. You don't have to answer. I said I was hungry. I answered. Hold on. <laughs> I don't think I don't think my, my TikTok's picking up my responses. <laughs> Selena. Okay, cool. So when you color, do you do a layer for each panel? That's a great question. Let's go ahead and I'll show you what I do. I'll show you what I do. I really hope my computer is not lagging because I looked at last stream and it was just like lagging. My, my, it was, I was like, what are you doing? Why? Okay. I don't know what that is. I hate that there. The notepad. I just, I want it. God. Okay. So let me see if I can find it. I work. <laughs> My layers, don't get overwhelmed when you see this. I just, I'm weird. So, I'm going to hide all the colors real quick. What is this? Why do I have that there? Where are you? Okay, so these layers right here. Ooh, we'll keep that there. This was um, my screen layer. And my screen layer was for, just for highlights. That was specifically for my backgrounds. So I will separate my highlights and shadows. Uh, uh, well, I don't really, because actually I have the same, the highlight that I use here, I still keep that same highlight layer, and I'll use it down here if I need to add highlights to Oriana's hair. So yeah, I, I do keep all of my colors on the same layer. I have my highlights here on my screen layer setting. I have for my shadows, I have them also right here on their own separate layer. And then I have my regular, schmegular, degular layer colors. And I have that one right here. Just filled that all in. So yeah, I just, I, I guess I just work in like four different layers. My rough draft, my inking, my base colors, my shadows and my highlights. <laughs> so five different layers. That's what I like to do. But there are some artists that will work all on one layer. So don't feel the need to have to separate all your layers like I do. I have, I, I, I separate. This is my thing. But there are some artists that all work on one layer. So there's not one way that's better than the other. It's preference for me. Over in this corner, if you're drawing your webtoon with Shireen, with S. Morshida, do whatever you want to do. No way is better than another. We're going to vibe and have fun and make our stories. <laughs> if we want. You know, you don't have to. Let's see. You'd be a great teacher. No, I wouldn't. Patrice, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> you bring it down and let us know we can do. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I did. I don't. I'm not good. At, I'm not good with my words, as you can see. <laughs> How do you stay motivated to draw the comic? For me, what helps me to stay motivated and what helps me to find my motivation, this is going to sound so childish, but being able to do whatever I want to do is very fun for me. <laughs> when I think back and I look at what causes my lack of motivation and I do like some self-evaluation, I realize things that aren't fun for me causes me not to be motivated to do them. For instance, say you were about to get up and do the dishes and then your parent comes around and they're like, hey, do the dishes. I already was. Now I don't want to do them now. I already was. I was already feeling in the mood. Hey, well, I'm going to do these dishes because I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. But now you are telling me what to do. I don't like that. I want to do what I want to do. That's what motivates me. It's like I'm, I realize I, this is part of my healing journey. It's like, no, that just sounds like you're selfish. I might be that too. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But that's where my motivation is from. There's people who are food motivated. There's people who are money motivated. I am more so chaotic freedom motivated. If I feel like doing it, I will do it. And I'm going to allow myself that freedom without shame. That's the hard part that I had to learn. Stop shaming yourself, Shireen. If you didn't draw today, you're not a bad artist. You're not going to lose all of your art stuff that you learned over the years. You're just resting. Do you shame the plants outside that are growing? Do you shame that tree that's in the backyard that's taking in years just to, just to grow up big enough so you can climb it? No, you're not shaming it. You let it just do its thing and, and, and grow how it wants to grow. You know? You letting it just vibe. It's chilling. Why can't I be a tree? Why can't I allow myself that freedom to just chill? You know? That's how I'm able to stay motivated. Stop shaming myself and do what I want to do when I want to do it however I want to do it. <laughs> it's the freedom that motivates me. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> Thank you. It sounds so nice. It is nice. Everybody has their own different motivator. That's very much so mine. Like, if somebody's like, hey, I'll give you a million dollars, but you need to do what I tell you to do. Um, it depends. It depends. It depends. Like, it depends. It depends. Who are you? What kind of personality you got? You, are you going to be just terrible to work with? I don't want it! But then again, it's uh, somebody else coming up to me like, Hey, we got this project we want you to work on. Oh, I like y'all. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what you need? <laughs> but yeah. Let's see. What if I can't 3D model either? You don't have to. You don't have to. If you can't use 3D models, if you can't use digital, you don't have to. That's what's awesome about art. Do whatever you want. Use whatever you want. If you don't want to use 3D models, don't use 3D models. Because you want to know the beautiful thing about us as artists and just us as humans in general? We are very creative problem solvers. We're going to find a way to get to our end goal and use whatever tools we can get our little, little, little tiny little hands on to get to our end results. You know? So you could still create amazing things that bring you joy and make you just feel like, yes! even if it's not the same thing that other people use, you know? When I was younger, I felt like, man, I need to specifically use that same program that this artist is using or else it's not going to look the same way that theirs looks. I've learned, thanks to my art hoarding issue, that I can create the same kind of content, the same kind of artwork with whatever program is out there because I like, I like using different programs. I got an art hoarding addiction, so if I see a new fancy program that has some comic-specific features, I'm using it. So yeah, it's, 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 I like that saying, it's not the paintbrush that makes the painter, it's the painter themselves. So use whatever you want. That's what's fun about art. We can do what we want, use what we want. Let's do this. But yeah. Dom, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> that doesn't sound like the answer you were looking for. <laughs> that doesn't sound like the answer they are looking for, but hopefully that helped. Let's see. Selena, okay, thanks. I still get confused with layers. Yeah, no worries. They can be very confusing because it's so many steps and it'll like, your brain might be like, whoo, it's too much. <laughs> so no worries, no worries at all. Even with just illustrations, I can't wrap my head around doing multi multiple pictures for comics. It's a bit overwhelming. Yeah, so definitely pace yourself and definitely if you want to be the type of artist, because there are some, some artists who do this, they won't work on multiple layers. They do everything all on one layer. I don't know which ones, but I know that there are some out there. And I think I might have seen some, but I forgot. But anyways, there are some artists that will draw just all on one layer. So here's one layer. Here's a picture. Hold on. I want to I wanna finish it. Like, what is this? It's a person. <laughs> what some people do, they'll go over here and then they will just still draw on the same layer. And let me just show you. I'm gonna put a pink down here. We're gonna fill this in, fill this in. Let me go to my bucket tool. We're gonna fill it in. There we go. Cause some people, again, this is all on the same layer. Some artists, they will work all on just one layer. Now, if you're like, well, I still want to add shadows. A really cool feature that the G pen has within Clip Studio Paint. I think some other programs have this too. You can go to blending mode, you can go to normal, and you can set it to multiply. 
And then we're going to go over to this gray. And look. We can create our shadows. You see? Look at that. And we can do it all on the same layer. It's cool, isn't it? So if you're like, I can't do all the different layers, you can do everything on one layer. Let's go ahead and go to the screen, and we're going to go to a highlight. It's like, that's still the same color. Okay, we'll use this one. Here's your screen. Or you can literally just keep it all the same, keep it at normal, and you could just manually go in. This is still the same shade that I use. It's just no longer on the, the screen blending option. But you can just draw all on the same layer. You are free to create whatever way you want. And I know that fear of, oh, if I'm not doing it their way, then it's going to just, all of my effort is going to be wasted. That's how I felt. And I had to tell myself, no, I want to do what I want. So, yeah, you could do whatever you want your way. There's not one way that is right or better than all. You do it whatever way is good for you is good enough. Do it. <laughs> what you want to do. <laughs> I thought that as well with art supplies. Yeah, it's I, I have an art hoarding addiction. I got to work on that. Okay, let me go over here. Let's see. I got to go. No pro no worries, Mel. Thank you for stopping by, though. <laughs> You're cool, my new my my new comfort streamer. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> okay, so do we have all of our webtoon? I hate that it is lagging. I just saw myself and it was lagging. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to lower. I'm going to go over here. Your YouTube is not... Okay, now it's an excellent connection. Why? I'm going to lower you. I'm going to lower that. The CPU is at 42%. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to close this down. We're going to take that away. Take that away. And then hopefully you guys won't see any jitteriness. I am sorry. I need to upgrade my computer. But I need like 2000 for that. I need like $2,000 for that. Well, I think the one that I want is like over $2,000. So I need to save up for that. But that's why we posted and doing live streams on YouTube to get that YouTube revenue. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I'm not seeing... Ooh. Why did it go to red? Computer. Maybe it's this. I'm going to turn off this music. I'm going to turn the music off. And then you guys just going to have to sit in silence. <laughs> I wish I could turn music on my phone. There's not a lot of people. Um, I got an iPad. I got an iPad. Okay, I'm going to bring my iPad over here. And we're going to have music playing on the iPad. Because my computer obviously can't handle two programs playing at once. Ugh. I'll start drawing. Hold on. I'll start drawing. June, hi. Is that Oriana? Yelp. Yelp. It's Oriana. It's her updated version for a super secret project that I'm working on. If the project flops, I'll let you know. If the project goes through, I'll also let you know. But Yelp is for a super secret project. I'm trying to get some music going. Because it's my computer, it just, it doesn't handle, it can't handle more things going at once. Delay, Oriana. Yep, y'all missed Oriana. <laughs> yep, yep, it's Oriana. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to my history and pull up the song that I had already going. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna put this. Um, where's my volume button? Let me know if you guys can hear the music. Hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear the music, but it's fine. Chocolate. Oh, I'm late. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it, Oriana, she's so cute. I know. I love her and her chaos. I love her and her chaos. We can hear perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and anchor in. I hope you guys, no pressure, but if you want to draw with me, feel free to get like a sketchbook. Get a sheet of paper, 
get like a pencil or a pen get whatever drawing utensil you want to do and let's just draw together let's just draw together no pressure no no stress let's draw okay i have this all in its own layer i really hope it's not gonna lag i just please don't lag <laughs> please don't lag Oriana finally married Jay Hwan for real. That's your secret project. Either that or she's a model. <laughs> I'll let you know what the secret project is once I get the green light. But I got to finish everything first. I got to finish the character designs and the character sheets. But who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I got contacted by a certain some, somebody who was interested. And again... If this doesn't go through, I'll go ahead and share that with you guys too because, I mean, I've had four failed Kickstarters. I, I'm used to failure. I've had other stuff fail too, so <laughs> it's fine. But a certain someone did contact me. It's not Webtoon. A certain someone did contact me from a different company, and they were like, hey, we saw your comic there. You want to send a pitch to us? I'm like, Sure. I don't know how I do that, so you might you might need to help me. <laughs> so we've been working together on that. But I'll let you guys know. It's super secret. I can't tell you. Don't ask me who it is. It's not Webtoon, though. But don't ask me no other questions, okay? Because I can't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> she says and she says everything. <laughs> I can hear it. Yay! 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 Maybe I should turn my big computer on and draw some pages. Of, I mean, if y'all want to draw with me, I will not be mad about that. I will not be mad about that. I'm just going to lean my canvas up a little bit. I'm going to actually, I'm going to bring my screen up some more so that you guys can see the bottom part. Because it's just, it's, it's cutting off too much. No, it's, it's, it's not, ah! We're good. It's fine. We'll do that. When you updating that webtoon? <laughs> I have Roger's block. <laughs> all that I have on there, all 29 episodes or all season one, that's all that I had in my brain. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all that my brain had. I There's there's nothing else inside of this brain. I can't, I don't, I don't know, I don't have nothing else. So I don't mean to upset you guys for not updating, but literally, brain empty, writer's block. All I had was that, was season one. But then this company contacted me, and they're like, hey, we saw your webtoon that you haven't updated. We like it. Send us a comic pitch. I'm like, okay. I can't tell you guys the, the company, though, because it's a super secret project. But, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. It's a whole, whole different different story so in a, in a sort of sort of sense let's see i'm making snack food sets out display hey let's drop get it <laughs> no it's not to pass either <laughs> it's not it's not to pass it's not what it's not to pass it's somebody else but i'm not supposed i'm not i can't say because it's it's it, it, it's it hasn't been greenlit yet and they don't want any un they you know we don't want awkwardness you know so, I'll let you guys know. No, it's so good. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I, I like to zoom in when I'm inking stuff in. So, prepare for the big screen. Okay. I really hope my computer stops lagging. I believe the connection should be good on your guys' end. I see some other artists lasso selection of their drawing and then color. Seems like a lot of work. I don't fully understand. Well, some people, they do like to lasso select. It it, it helps with how their brain, like their brain process it, processes <laughs> color selection a little bit better when they use lasso tools. So with the paint bucket tool, they have this, what's this? Is it this? Hold on. Let me go to raster layer. Is it this one? Yeah. The paint bucket tool, it has this fill lasso thing to where they could just fill it in like that. For me, I sometimes like to use this when I'm adding shadows. But yeah. And see, and that's the cool thing though. With different artists, you see how their brains work differently. And it's okay if your brain doesn't work how their brain is. It's it's their brain. You do what works for your brain. But yeah. It's really cool though to see a different different artist's uh process. You know? It's cool. Okay. 
I'm going to go to three. And you guys are like, oh, that's blurry. Don't worry. I'm really zoomed in. That's why it's looking blurry. Which is why what I mentioned before when people are like, oh, my stuff is blurry. I'm like, well, there's lots of different issues that might be causing your blurriness. Either you might be super zoomed in and you don't realize it, or your canvas is super small. So even like any small amount of zooming in makes it still look blurry because your canvas is still very small. Or you might be using a different pen that actually has like a blurry edge. Or you might actually have your settings over here, your layer properties set to like monochrome or something like that. And that might also be what's causing your blurring. There's lots of different things that could be causing it. So unless I'm like actually seeing their stuff, I don't really know. But I can try my best to troubleshoot over on my end based off of what I go through. But again, I don't want to be like, I just I just want to share my process and then just create. Because like I, I'm, I just, I just want to share how I draw stuff and help that be a motivation. I don't really want to turn into like a tutorial teacher type. You know, um, YouTube, I just want to share. Here's how I would do it with this program. Here's how I do it with that program while I'm also creating my content. Because I, I, I've noticed that a lot of people have started putting me in a box. And they are like, we're tired of seeing you talk about this one topic. And it's like, you don't have to follow me. Well, no, we followed you for this subject. You need to diversify your content. And it's like, well, no, I don't have to do nothing but stay black and die. You don't have to follow me. <laughs> I want to continue to post what I want. But I can understand if you're like, well, I like your content, but I'm tired of seeing all this. Well, I'm, I'm posting this for me, though. I'm, I'm, I'm on a healing healing journey. <laughs> your girl's struggling. I'm laughing and, and, and smiling, <laughs> but I'm struggling, you know? And some people are like, well, we're tired of seeing that. Oh, well, then you, you might need to unfollow because... I'm tired of going through it, but this is how I'm helping myself through. You know, so that it's just been interesting sharing online my work because a lot of people see me as, you just need to be posting about this then. And it's like, who are you to tell me what I need to do? <laughs> and then I realized, Shereen, we're having a trigger, a triggering trauma response. Because when we were younger, we had to suffer with people always telling us what we could, should or should not do. And we had no freedom. And now you're already reverting back to your 12-year-old self. It's okay. You're not there anymore. We don't have to respond that way. We can let them know, hey, if you don't like it, that's that's totally okay. Because my main objective at the end of the day, I'm not interested in starting anything. I'm only interested in healing myself. And if that is not something that other people want to see, that's okay. If some people are like, this is too negative. Child, you should take a look inside my brain because this is just a mess. So I definitely understand and you do not have to follow. You do not have to see me anymore. It's okay. I want to keep on doing what I'm doing on my page. And Sharon, because, you know, I'm, I am glad to see that there are others who are like, hey, we like what you share. Hey, what you shared helps us. So I'm like, I'm glad. While I'm helping myself, I'm happy to see that I'm helping others. But it's also interesting. While I'm helping myself, it seems like I'm hurting others. And it's like, please stop following me if, if this is affecting you. Please stop. Do what is best for you. Because that's what I'm on a journey to do for me. What is best for me. <sighs> and you know what? Have you guys ever struggled with, like, feeling, like, not inspired to draw, you know? And, like, have you ever asked yourself, like, why is that? You know, why am I feeling this way? Because, like, I've used to, like, I'll struggle with that sometimes. Like, and I've struggled with that a lot in the past, too. And I still will struggle with that even now to this day. And I realize a lot of times if I were to ask myself, okay, why are we not feeling inspired to draw? And there's, like, different answers that I come up with. One would be, well, I feel like I should be drawing. And then... You know, after doing some self-evaluation, I realized that me forcing myself to do stuff, me having to do stuff out of obligation, that's like a big factor that stops me from wanting to enjoy anything. So it's like, I have to give myself freedom. So me feeling obligated to have to do something, is, it's going to make me not want to do it. So that's one aspect of it. And then another aspect, when I ask myself, well, why are we feeling inspired to draw? Another thing that I noticed for me what causes that lack of inspiration is because I'm trying to make myself create 
in a way that I don't enjoy creating. And I'm shaming myself for creating in the way that I do enjoy creating. And then another thing that kind of kills my inspiration <laughs> is that constant battle. I get so tired of having to, you know, I'm having to battle my, my those inner thoughts of, oh, you'll never be good enough. Oh, look at you. Like those, just those inner thoughts that are just tearing me down and just negative and which also correlates to a lot of the comments that I get outside and I realize, ah, this comic is affecting me because it sounds exactly like the thought in my head that I'm constantly battling with. I need to start addressing that by, so like, you know, say for instance, I've gotten, I've struggled with comments to myself about like, ooh, you'll never learn how to draw, it's going to be a crutch. I don't care about that. <laughs> what some, it's, what some people, there are people who don't see crutch being bad. There are some people who see crutch being good. I could care. I don't care about either sides. I'm just like, I want to draw. I want to use the 3D models, trace over the 3D models and do what I want to do. I want to draw in my process. And then there's, you know, some days I don't want to use 3D models. I just want to use whatever tools I have to draw. So it's like, I really have to like combat that, that thought. And sometimes I get, I, I'm tired of always having to fight with those thoughts. And that also triggers my lack of inspiration. Ooh. So it's just, it's a lot of like mental mind work when it comes to me and my art. I got a lot of stuff I got to work through, you know. And it's not going to be like, for me, I don't know what the future holds. So I don't know how long this process is going to take, you know. I know some people are like, oh, well, it's been years. Get over it. You're this old and it's like. I need to be like y'all, because apparently y'all get over stuff like that. <laughs> Whatever trauma y'all go through, y'all just get over it like, boom. You know, and it's like, I need to get on y'all level. Those of you who are able to make comics, like, boom, 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 come up with stories. I need to get like y'all. I hate that my computer is lagging. <laughs> Ugh. But these are all of my internal thoughts. So if you guys are like, oh, she's too negative, it's okay. I realize that about myself. And that's why I draw to help myself get through this. Okay, I, I got lost track of comments, sorry. Let's see. Junko, ooh, I love a little side story with Krissa. Uh, we haven't seen her since the first version of Lola Fighting. I don't really have a spot for her. <laughs> She's just Oriana's cousin. But I'm glad you like her though. <laughs> I'm glad you like her. People are seriously petty. People are, are interesting people are very interesting <laughs> yeah i got lots of comic material but people are very interesting let's see i need to get like that like them too i have a hard time with using tools it's so frustrating sometimes yeah doing something that's new and that's you're not used to is definitely understandable if it's frustrating class it's you're not allowed if it helps i still get frustrated with lots of tools too so you're not alone you say yeah, I get burnt out for so long. Yeah, I had for me, I had a I had um an artist block to where I it got so bad to where I'm like, I'm never drawing again. This has happened multiple occasions. But I stopped drawing for like years. I believe it was after I gave birth to my twins. I had like really bad postpartum depression. I got in an argument with someone because they said if you don't draw every aspect of art you are not, you really don't love art. You're not a real artist. And I got mad at them. Like, who are you to tell me what I am? Forget it. I'm not drawing anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm not drawing. So I just, I, and I was already struggling with a lot. So I just gave up. I stopped drawing. I'm not drawing. And I stopped drawing for years. For years. Until I, I wanted to get my feelings out. And I'm like, ooh. Uh, I saw this. What was it? There was something that caused me to get back into drawing. I don't know. I probably saw something. And I'm like, ooh, I like that. I want to draw that. But yeah, so if if you're like, oh, I haven't drawn in years, I haven't drawn in months, I haven't drawn in years, me too. <laughs> I've done that too. And then I just was like, oh, I'm going to draw again. I think I did. You're not alone. I know you don't probably see a lot of people who, who, who maybe haven't drawn for a, you know, a lot of years, and you only see people who like are always drawing. If it helps you feel better, I'm one of those artists who I will stop drawing for years. And I'll get back up on it. And I'll stop again. Like, yeah, I don't feel like it. I'm like a cat. <laughs> I am a cat. That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> Hi, Kri Ka Kayla. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Yusagi. 
Don't let people tell you what to do with your art. I can't control what they say, but I know what I can control. I control myself. And so I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. <laughs> I'll be crying while I'm doing it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. But thank you. What app is that? This is Clip Studio Paint EX. No, it's good. Don't worry. Okay, I got that comment. I got that comment. Just making sure I'm keeping up with the comments. Class, because I'm watching you draw curly hair texture. Oh, yeah, I just squiggles. I just do squiggles. To draw curly hair, SC's squiggles. I, I, but, you know, I just do, I, I like squiggles. That's how I make curly hair. <laughs> Same, I didn't draw it all for February. I think the longest I haven't drawn is a year. Yep. I will take years off not drawing and just vibing to life. And then sometimes it's like, hey, I feel like drawing again. Let me go ahead and open up that notebook and draw a little bit. And then it's like, all right, that's enough of that. You know, since I'm not answering to anyone, I'm my own boss. I can set when I want to draw or not, you know? I know for me, when I was younger, I used to struggle with, man, if I don't keep up drawing, I'm going to forget it all. And I knew that for me, I don't know the future. I only know the present and I know the past. <laughs> and I have a lot of regret in the past. And I know what caused a lot of that regret in the past because I was listening to my fears and anxieties and other people's fears and anxieties, you know? So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try something different because what we're doing right now was not helping. So let me just go ahead and just allow myself to just take breaks whenever I want and stop drawing whenever I want to stop drawing and let's see what happens. And you know, you guys see my artwork <laughs> and I'm an artist who will take who will take whatever amount of time she wants off. And it looks how it looks. I didn't come out the womb with my art looking like this. You guys, I think I've shown you guys some of my... Here, let me show you. Just in case some of you guys are new. I'm getting more comfortable on stream, can you tell? <laughs> but this is how my art started off when I was 15. Not started off because I've been drawing before that. But this is 15. This is 15 years old. And again, I'm... I, I allow my, uh, zoom out, the shine, you cannot, there you go, 15. And the interesting thing with humans, we're like super Saiyans. I know this is weird, but just listen to me. We're like Saiyans, like, from Dragon Ball Z. They continue to grow and develop. Now, we aren't the type, we're like the laid back type Saiyans to where it's like, rest actually helps us a lot. But then again, other people, they are probably like exactly like those Saiyans who are like, you no, know, going hard at the wall all the time is where they develop. But you might be like the laid back type that's like, nah, chilling and allowing myself to rest without shame helps me too. I don't know how, I, I didn't word that correctly, but you know. Let's see. I think exploring Krista would help with some ideas. I always saw her as a cousin who also struggles a bit with love and her own self-image, so she kind of puts up a mask and comes off as self-important or arrogant. I like how you explain that. That's a really nice way of saying that about Krista. I'm really glad you guys did like her, though. I'm really glad you guys liked her. I don't know what I was talking about just now, but yeah, I'm glad you guys like Krista. Let's see here. Scribble, scribble. I'm, again, I'm sorry if it's lagging. I'm sorry if it's lagging. I came out the room ready to draw. <laughs> you guys are silly. You guys are silly. You saggy. I feel like I'm hearing myself talk about my art-related frustrations right now. <laughs> I'm glad to see you guys can relate to me because I'm I, I, I'm trying to get more comfortable with like verbalizing and talking because I I grew up where I was told to be quiet. And stop talking. <laughs> so, I need more light on this end. So, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys... I'm glad to see there are other people who are like me. So, we're, so at least I can feel comfortable in talking. You know? I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm totally a laid-back saying, Yep, that's me too. We're the laid-back chill type. And you know what? That's okay too. I want to enjoy life. Not to say other people aren't. But I want to enjoy life my way. You know, I'm, I want to enjoy life my way. And my way is, I want to draw this hair curly like this. 
I don't want to be like, oh, that's not how curly hair should be. You got to look at the shape. And I don't want to care. I don't, I don't, I don't want to focus on that. Just let me do, let me draw my squiggles. Let me squiggles. I'll just draw them without shame. Freedom. Being happy. And this is what my journey is. I'm going to get over this trauma. You watch. Then again, I might never get over the trauma. But hey, I'm going to have fun while I'm going through this process. <laughs> I'm gonna find a way to have fun. <laughs> yes, the art glow up then and now. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I realized for me it, that I had a very big irrational fear to where I thought if I stop, it's all over. And I mean, if I were to really think about that, and if I were really to tell myself, Shireen, when you lay down and you go to sleep for a couple days and you get up the next day, you could still walk. You know, and I know, hey, if you, even like for other people who say might have been in a coma for a really long time, if this is, it depends on people's situation, but like the overall thing, the muscle, the muscles, you can get the muscles to, to go and do what they need to do. Our bodies are determined to get us to our next goal. Everything that we've gained over the years or everything that our body has registered over the years it's still there oh it's redlining ah <sighs> i'm so sorry you guys my stream is just redlining so bad what if i just close this the bit, the stream bit rate is, it's lower than the recommended bit rate. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on a second. Video. Output. I have it at 2,500. Does it need to be at 3,000? Really? What if I do that? Okay. 3,000 it is. Apply. Click OK. Did that fix it? It's still showing me. It's still showing me orange and yellow. Orange, red, yellow, green, yellow, green, green, green. OK. Orange. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My computer's lagging. This is probably not going to be a very long live. Hi, Dusty. Hello. <laughs> but as I was saying, because I don't, I, I'm not wording myself very well, but having that fear of, oh, I'm going to lose everything, unless it's like maybe something else that might have happened, but me stopping and resting for a certain period of time, I, why did I, why was I so scared of that? Why did I think I would lose everything? When I, when I take a nap, I can still get up the next day. You know, if I don't talk to people for months and years, or if I haven't talked to like a friend for months and years, when we hook back up, it's like, you know, time has never passed. And I guess I'm, I'm, I guess it's because maybe I'm comparing it to, you know, with some people, they probably don't get their like limbs to move again after, you know, whatever traumatic experience they, they've gone through. But I won't know that unless I actually look into the future. You know, so I could either be like, well, this could happen. It could, or it could not, you know? So I'm like, the next question I guess I have to ask myself, what's going to make me happy? What do I want at this current state? Do I want to continue to allow my fears be what decides my decisions? <laughs> or do I want to go ahead and be a little chaotic? Do I want to just rest for a bit without shame? What does it feel like not to have shame? That's the next question that comes. What does it feel like to actually live a life without shame? And it's like, why am I shaming myself over art when art is freedom? Art is, I'm going to go ahead and rest. I'm going to go ahead and rest. And then we're going to see what happens. And I mean, this is what happened for me. So I don't know what happens, what's going to happen for other people. I can't say, I can't be that type of person who's like, if you stop drawing, you're going to lose it all. I don't know your future. I don't know what's going to happen. 
I can say stuff based off of a fear or a speculation or based off of whatever else. But just like you can say this, there's two sides to each coin. I could also say the other side. So for me, I won't know until I try. So that's what I've been doing more often. I'm like, you know what? If there's something that's scaring me about my art when it comes to, ooh, I haven't drawn in a bit. I'm willing to be a little bit chaotic enough and, and take those breaks. And see what happens. Because, again, I don't answer anybody but myself. <laughs> I don't, that's, but that's me. That's me. Let's see. What you guys say? Oh, hi, Moon. I didn't even know she, you popped in there. <laughs> Do you know a platform that you can post music with your webtoon? I know webtoon does for oh yeah for the original featured artist um yep to pass yep june got it to pass they also have that they also have it to where you can add music to it i think i have that on one of my old um comics oh one of my old comic pages of love love fighting but yep to pass they got it for you thank you for helping jude I'm really hoping that this stream is not terribly laggy. Right now, it's looking like it's in the green. So it looks like I might have just had to increase the uh, kilobytes. It's from, I need to do a video where I'm like showing how to stream as an artist. Because, you know, they have people who stream as, as like people who need like lots of, who have good internet. I don't have good internet. I, ain't, I don't have good internet. And by good internet, I guess fiber optic internet, but I don't know what other people have either. But my internet, it's very, like, the megabytes. I guess I should say it like that. My megabytes are, like, in, like, the four. <laughs> They're very low. So I, I should do a video where I'm just showing, like, what my OBS looks like and how I set that up. Because I think right now we are good. I don't think it's been lagging. You're, it's been fine for you. June, you are, you are just, you are, you are my angel. This is the heart for you. Thank you, because I've been nervous. Yusagi, do you teach your babies how to draw too? Um, when you say teach, do you mean like do we sit down and I show her like how to do circles? Because she more so likes to do her own thing and she'll look at pictures like how, you know, similar to somewhat similar to how I do it and she just draws whichever she likes. So um, what I do, I just encourage her to keep drawing. I'm like, I encourage her to keep, sh show me your picture, what you got today. Ooh, I like that circle. I like that color. Like, I, I feed into her, like how my mom fed into me. Even though when I was younger, my mom, okay, my mom, I know I'm jumping from subject, I'm sorry. But my mom had told me, she was like, yeah, it's so cool seeing how your art looks now. Because when you were younger, ooh. I was like, ma, what you mean? <laughs> Whenever I showed you my pictures, you definitely did say none of that. It's just like, I wanted to encourage you. But for my daughter, I love seeing her progress. My mom's not an artist, so she's not used to seeing, like, the beginner stage of artists. She she didn't know what would be later on down the line. For me, I know what's later on down the line and how much art can change and evolve. Not to say one is better than the other. I like it all. <laughs> At all levels, it's amazing. But, yeah, I, um... We draw together, she'll draw, and she'll show me her stuff in her notebooks. We recently did a live stream together on our on my YouTube where she was in the backdrop, in the backdrop, in the background talking with her cousins and sharing some of her artwork. Well, yeah, that's what we do. How do you add music to your webtoon? Uh, to pass, it has that feature in their back end uh, for their free platform, their free posting platform. It has it in there. I would show you on this computer... But my computer has been lagging so terribly. I, I want to show it to you. I'm going to... Okay, give me a second. Give me one second. I'm going to see if I can pull up a new window and show it to you how where I added the, the sound. I'm going to go to Tapas's website real quick. Give me one second. YouTube, I'm sorry. You guys are probably like, what is she doing now? <laughs> my attention span... I'm sorry, <laughs> but this is a how to make a webtoon uh, live stream, so it technically falls in line with that, so don't get mad or else I cry. You can get mad, but don't yell at me or else I cry. I will cry easy. Okay, let's go to dashboard. Give me a second. I'll show you guys here real quick. 
You want to go to my series? I don't know which one had it. Edit series? I don't know which which chapter I had it. Let me see. You know, I don't need to find the chapter. I can just go to... Let me go to the episodes. Hold on. Hold on. I can show you this. Hold on. What is this button? Okay. Okay. What does that button do? Oh. Hold on. Is it not there anymore? June. Oh my god. I think it's... Hold on. Let me... Is it not there anymore? Is that feature not there anymore? Let me do... Hold on, let me go back. Because you... the feature used to be there. Let me click this plus sign. Whoa! Well, I don't know how to add sound to it. The feature is no longer there. Let me drag it over here. Usually there's like a feature to where it's like you can add like music. It's no longer there. I don't see it. Unless I'm, I'm blind. Hmm. Well, I don't know what platform has... I have to... I don't know. I don't see it there anymore. It used to have an option to add music, but now it's gone. Now it's gone. Oh, well. Cancel. Oh, sorry. I take back what I said then. Pass doesn't have that feature to add music. I'm sorry. I guess that was just a feature years ago, unless I'm, I don't notice it. Unless I don't notice it. Unless I didn't notice it. Let me see. Oh, we need another music. We'll go to that one. Let's see here. Um, oh. What? Oh. Wrong thing. Sorry. I'm trying to see. Ah, there we go. Because I've noticed this comment a lot. Let's see. We'll put this user in timeout because I noticed that. I don't know what boom today is. I'm just going to just put them on timeout. There we go. There we go. I don't know what that, that was, but we just put them on timeout just for a little bit because I keep seeing that comment. It's just the strangest thing. Okay. Yeah, it was there. Yeah, it was there like back in like a year ago or back in the day. I'm not sure, but yeah. It's okay, honey. Okay, I'm sorry. If I do, though, if I do uh, end up finding a platform or if a platform tells me <laughs> about their feature, then I can definitely let you guys know what other platforms are out there to where you can add music to your webtoons. But, yeah. I need to go back through because I want to do some more blog posts where I'm covering more subjects like this. I just got to make sure I'm up to date with um, some of the features. Let me zoom out. Okay. It's, oh, oops. The hotkey got stuck. And we're just drawing. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know about my wrinkles. I just do U's and W's and salsas. It's a bit laggy. Yeah, I think I think I'm just no. It's it, yeah the tornado because the tornado did recently hit, but I think it also is my computer is just poo poo. Yeah, I don't know why they why I don't know why they do that either. So I just put them in timeout, and then if it happens again, we can block. I've gotten a lot better with that, you know. Oh, thank you for the heart. Hi. Eh. Hi. Eh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's just, it's strange. I'm still getting used to YouTube. Oh, it's laggy. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, if it's still lagging when I save this, this video, I'm going to look into seeing what I did different. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to click on something. Hold on. I have <laughs> This is going to look really bad. Give me a second. I have these other two scenes up. Maybe it's this thing. I'm going to click on my Twitch comic scene. Give me one second. Okay. We'll see if that fixes it cuz I have like four other things in my scene. 
Which again, I don't, there's not a lot of videos to help me as an artist. Or you know what, there's probably is. I probably haven't found them. But hopefully that fixes the OBS issue. Oh, around the end of last year, they took it away. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you for finding that. Thank you. And your boobies. A little bit of that right there. Well, I didn't have those scenes in my last live, and it was still lagging. But my, 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 my camera was big, though. I don't know what's causing this lag. Hold on, let me see. I don't have any other programs open. I just need, to, I need to really upgrade my computer. I got an eight gigabyte RAM and that's why it's lagging so much because I'm, I'm using like three programs at once. <sighs> I'm gonna get there, you guys. I'm gonna upgrade my stuff. I just got kids I gotta take care of. And bills I gotta take care of. So family comes first for me. Cause I know how it feels to be put second <laughs> and it's like, well, dang, <laughs> I don't like that. So I want to make sure my family is taken care of first. Okay. But let me know if it's still lagging on your guys' end. And then, um, I have no clue what to do, but I'll at least keep that in mind for the end of the stream. Okay. Hopefully I can get this done before... The two hours are up. Because that's what I wanted to try to do is keep up with like a two hour stream. Either a two hour stream or an hour and 30 minutes. And I know I said this before, but I'll keep saying it because <laughs> she's redundant. <laughs> but if you guys do have any other like Webtoon questions that I haven't already answered um, at the beginning of this stream. Or if you guys are like, hey, I'm still confused about something. Go ahead and let me know what like the specific confusion part is so that I can make sure I find the specific solution for your specific problem. And that way I can help. Cause you know, I feel helpful right now. In the future, I don't know if I will be. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. But right now I feel helpful. You know, I wanna share. In the future, I might stop sharing, I don't know. I might be crying in the corner because <laughs> You know, like, I broke. I snapped under the pressure and the, the, my darkness got to me, you know? But you, I don't know. I might just be fine later on. So, I'm going to enjoy the present right now and be like, hey, whatever questions you got, send them my way. You can leave them in the comment section at the bottom of this YouTube video. And I can, I can try to talk about it in the next live stream. I know I do want to do another video about some uh, tech specs <laughs> and some um recommendations based off of what i use and then like hey here's something that's similar to what i use if, if you want to use what i'm using but this is what i want to get in the future because i need more power <laughs> i need more power let's see I'm watching this on my TV, so when my TV went black, when you were fixing the lag, I thought something happened. I'm sorry, Patrice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Moonline. I wanted to use music on mine so bad. Yeah, and that's um, that's a difficult thing when it comes to using like free platforms. You got you're kind of stuck with um, their rules and regulations, and the rules and regulations that they gotta follow. So I think that's also another reason why um, a lot of artists tend to end up like self-hosting. So they can just have like a little bit more freedom in what they post and how they post and what they add and, and create for their webtoon, you know? I could definitely do a video on uh, and share like how, how I make my website and then also different like platforms that can be used. If you want to post your own website on your own self-hosted platform. But the thing with that, there are there are some free options, but the one I use, I used to pay I used to pay plat I pay for my website, so S Marshita Studio, I pay for that one. But there are free options. It's just again the free options you're kind of stuck to their rules, but it has a little bit more freedom than others. But you gotta pull in the the traffic to it on your own. 
as opposed to being able to utilize to passes or webtoons traffic that they bring in for you. So it's a lot. It can be a lot. And that can kind of scare a lot of people from drawing comics because they're like, I just want to draw comics. Then don't worry about none of that stuff. You post wherever you want to post and you do whatever is best for you. Okay, I think we're all done. Let's zoom out. Oh. Let's zoom out. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and hide this layer. See? What you guys think? You guys like? I really like to lower the O capacity. Like, I lower it down really far. Because that helps me to actually see my black lines. Because have you ever drawn something and you sketched it? And you're like, ooh, the sketch looks bomb. And you start inking it in. And then, you know, once you ink it in and then you remove the sketch, you're like, what happened? What happened? <laughs> you know? That's that's why I lower the O capacity right here. Let me put it right here. I lower the O capacity so that it's so faint. That way my brain is separating the two and I can see what I'm inking in. But yes, that's that's what I do. But yo, we're all done. We drew it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, sorry TikTok. I didn't mean to ignore you guys. Is there a specific app we need to use to create music for comics on the app Webtoon? Well, the music on Webtoon, at this current moment in time, they only offer that to feature comic artists. So comic artists that have a contract with Webtoon. So if you are posting on Webtoon Canvas platform, that's their free posting platform, they currently don't offer music. So there's nothing you can do, unfortunately. Because the only, like, the layer, the file type you can upload is JPEG, PNG, and I think BMP, I don't know, and GIFs, I think. But I don't believe GIFs have music. But yeah, the option's available for contracted Webtoon artists. What device are you drawing on? I'm drawing on my Wacom Centwick 24 HD. Woo! <laughs> Pretty! You like it, tree? Chocolate is so cute. You like? I finished it. I did it. And it only took an hour and 32 minutes. Yay! A video on how you made your website would be so great. Okay, perfect. So, I can add that to the list because I have over 156, 168 blog posts I need to do to buffer out the whole entire year. And I also have to do 168 YouTube videos to make sure I buffer a whole year's worth of content. Not the rest of the year, but a whole year's worth of content. So, I can add that to my list of the stuff that to, to, to share because I'm glad... Because there's lots of different ways to make a website. I'll just show what I do. And then other people who are like, actually, this is how you do it. Hopefully that will get them to like, okay, perfect, share. Come on. Prove me wrong. Share. That's fine. Just sh get the contact out. Share. Share. <laughs> Help them. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and share first. And usually that helps draw other people who are like wanting to inject and be like, no, you could do this. Why didn't you share that so people could? <laughs> but either way. I'll share, and then hopefully more people will start to share when they see that I'm sharing. So, yes. Selena, love it. You like it? Yay, thank you. I'm so glad you guys like it. Oh, I see. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, TikTok, I'm going to go ahead and hop off, but thank you for keeping me company. I'm going to finish talking to YouTube now. But bye, guys. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Okay, YouTube, I turned off the TikToks. Miss Kayla, lovely, thank you. I really want to, like, more, more, like, let me show you guys. Okay, so we've been going through a lot of, like, trying to get the comic, um, hold on. For this pitch, we've been trying to, we've been going back and forth trying to get it just so. And I'll show you, like, some of the, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to show it to you guys. I don't think I'm allowed to show it to you guys yet. But when I get the green light or the red light, I will show it to you then. But for now, there's Oriana. We're all done. I'm going to go ahead and start packing up so you guys go ahead and start saying bye to me so I can say bye back to you guys. <laughs> and then um, I plan on making some emojis for you guys to so that we can, like, use that. in Because I got it. I, they allowed. I can do members things now. So... I'm going to uh, make little emojis so that we can, like, have that going through chat. I think that will be fun if you guys want. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. 
Um, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for, for bearing with me while I dealt with this tornado in the storm. <laughs> but I hope you guys had fun, though. I thought you were ending the YouTube stream. I was about to be sad. I... Wait. I am ending the YouTube stream. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I'm sorry, Patree. Patree, I'm sorry. <laughs> bye, Chocolate. Bye, June. Patree, we'll be back. We'll be back. Um, We'll be back. I'll, I can do another live stream. I got to figure out. We'll try to aim for Tuesday. We'll try to aim for Tuesday, okay? We'll try to do one on Tuesday. Next stream? Yeah. Selena, we'll try to do one on Tuesday. What you think? You guys like Tuesday? Well, you guys, you guys good with Tuesday? Bye, you soggy. Thank you for coming by YouTube. I saw that you were on, on my TikTok. <laughs> Thank you for coming by YouTube. Kayla, bye bye. All, all sub to get you next time. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Bye, chocolate. Bye, moon. Bye, Kayla. Bye, everybody. See you on Saturday. I don't know what button to press. Hold on. I'm gonna get this down eventually. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. Bye 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 b